April of 1865, Union soldiers were finally coming home after the Civil War, headed back to their families after four years of bloody conflict that tore apart the nation. But sadly, many of them would never make it home. Unfortunately, they were betrayed by their own senior officers in the Union Army at Vicksburg. The story of the Sultana Paddle Wheel Steamboat begins with Lieutenant Reuben Hatch from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Greed caused him to overload the boat with Captain J. Cass Mason. Seeing the opportunity to ferry hundreds of Union soldiers back to the north at a fee of $10 per officer and $5 per soldier, he wanted as large a passenger load as he could get. They even spread rumors that other steamboats were tainted with smallpox and the Sultana was the only one soldiers should travel on. Because of their bribery and kickback scheme, 2,400 people boarded the steamboat that had a capacity of 376. It also had a ruptured boiler that the captain knew about and ignored. And could explode at any time. He overlooked these dangers. And they took off anyway. There are only two known pictures of the Sultana. This is one of them as it passed through Helena on April 26th. But it shows the overwhelming overloading of the boat. And that brings us to the night of April 27th. The Sultana steamboat lit up the dark and cold Mississippi River. It was two o'clock in the morning. And then... The initial explosion blew a hole 25 to 30 feet wide through all three upper decks, wiping out most of the main cabin. The boiler exploded, causing two others to explode. The boat erupted into flames, killing hundreds immediately. Frantic screams as many slid into the fire. Wails and cries could be heard as the steamboat began sinking. A night of horror and tragedy that would become the deadliest shipwreck in U.S. history. An estimated 1,800 people died. That's more than on the Titanic. And at the time, the disaster didn't even make headlines. The telegraph was down in the South. And Abraham Lincoln had just been assassinated in that assassination in the search for John Wilkes Booth filled the northern newspapers. It eventually made news, though this newspaper shows it was buried pages behind the coverage of Lincoln. And after that, it was quickly forgotten. For more than 100 years, nothing was written or spoken or said or taught about the story of the Sultana. It was a lost story until now. Sultana expert Dr. Lewis Interest is working with everyone from historians to congressmen to filmmakers who want this story to be told. A historical cover-up that, uh, as some people in recently, a Hollywood documentary said, has all the makings of a blockbuster movie. After this movie, everyone knew of the ill-fated voyage of the Titanic. Could the Sultana be the next big screen hit? Only time will tell. In the meantime, here in Arkansas, there is currently a small Sultana Museum in Marion, but they have much bigger plans. We've embarked on an effort to build a major museum, which we hope will be somewhat likened to the Titanic Museum up in Branson, that will finally tell the story and give this steamboat and these 2,400 people their rightful place in American history.